joining there. So good morning, everybody, and welcome to this morning's Surgery Connect webinar. Today, we're going to be having a look at the new phone bar that's going to be available for System 1 users. So during this session, we're going to have a brief look at the phone bar for System 1 users. We're going to have a look at specifically the inbound call information that will pop up uh, with any inbound calls that you receive through Surgery Connect. And we'll also have a look at the active patient options for making outbound calls to the patients. I'll also show you where the quick file option is so that you can file correspondence directly to the patient record whenever needed using the phone bar there. So the phone bar is an app that will sit on your desktop in front of your clinical database and will then give you access to all of your calls directly through the PC, or you can also link it to the desk phones within the practice. I'm actually going to close down this presentation now and show you that on my um, screen so that you can actually see that on my desktop. So I've opened up our system one demo site here and just down at the bottom of the screen attached to my taskbar you can see the phone bar down here on the left hand side of the screen i can move this just by clicking and dragging so you can have it set anywhere along the uh, taskbar on your screen it won't move up and down but it will move from side to side you can also move this phone bar uh, to other screens so within the settings you can have it set on a different screen if you use multiple screens within the practice once you've uh, logged in and set up the phone bar, uh, it will start automatically each morning. And then when you've logged into system one, if you click on the login button, it will then log you in on the phone bar automatically. You've got access to the help center through the little question mark here, so you can always get to the latest help articles on the system one phone bar. And you've also got a keypad here so that you can expand the phone bar to see the call control options. Once expanded, um, you can then change your status on the system. So we've got some icons here. At the moment, I'm using the soft phone option. So all of my calls would come directly through the phone bar and I can control them directly through my PC screen here. If I click on the little device icon, it will give you the options for other devices that you can forward your calls onto on Surgery Connect. So much like the integration at the moment, if you go in through the user console on your profile, you would then have the different options. So you can see here that I'm currently using my soft phone. I've also added on my personal mobile number though, so if I need to forward my calls to my mobile, um, I can do. And you'll have access to the desk phones that are installed within the practice. And you can search for any of the desk phones within the practice um, through the device link here. And you can set them as favorites so that they'll then appear at the top. So if you're in a room regularly, you can favorite that phone so that each morning you can just click on it and it will then log you into that phone automatically and set your status as available. If you are using the soft phone, um, you will need to use the um, availability here and make yourself available in the morning. So just by clicking on the availability of the phone bar, you've got the different available um, statuses here that you have on Surgery Connect. So obviously available means you can make and receive calls. Do not disturb if you're away from your desk to stop any calls being presented through to that particular user. And we also have a direct calls only status through the phone bar, which means that if you're in reception, but given some other tasks to do, you can use that status to stop any calls coming through any of the queues that you may be answering calls for, but you're still available internally for anybody to contact you within the practice. You'll also see um, on the system on phone bar that we have the group management session here, which is normally only accessible through the user console. Um, so if you have uh, users that can step in and out of their groups, they can do that directly through the phone bar as well. So if you have any admin team that help out with reception calls in the morning, they can be active in those groups um, and then step out later on during the day. Okay, so we have our, our group management session here as well as your user status nice and easily accessible directly from the phone bar there um, you can enter phone numbers onto the phone bar just by typing them into the box so there's no keypad to bring up you can just use your keyboard with the number keypad all the numbers across uh, the letter keys to type in a number and then as soon as the number's in the phone bar it's just a little green phone to make the call. Now, even if you're using the desk phone, you can use the phone bar to actually enter the numbers. That will do a call back on your desk phone. Um, so when you enter the number and click on call, it would ring the desk phone that that user is logged into. When they answer that phone, 
it will then make that outbound call for them automatically. So it does make dialing numbers very easy. You also have a directory feature here, which will give you all of your internal numbers within the practice um, and a central directory feature where you can upload the external numbers into the practice as well. That will then mean that you can then click to call on any of those numbers through the directory directly through your PC screen. And again, if you're using a desk phone, it rings your desk phone before making that outbound or internal call for you automatically. Um, there is also a call history, uh, so you can get to the last numbers that you dialed here. And then we've got some options over on the right hand side for both active patient and um, an appointment list feature as well for clinicians that will be coming shortly. There's a settings option here, so you can actually change how the phone bar works with system one. And if I go into the settings on my preferences here, um, it will give me the option to set up things like quick file. So with Surgery Connect on the phone bar, you can file directly back to the patient's clinical record um, and include a copy of any call recording, a text message, or even a photograph that the patient sent in through uh, Surgery Connect. That can then be attached to the patient's clinical record so that everybody can have a look at that um, if they can access that patient's clinical records. So we have options here to quick file telephone calls uh, which will then put the details of the call into the patient's clinical record. And if you're using the SMS feature on the phone bar, you can also file those directly back to the patient's clinical record as well. Find patient record for incoming calls is turned on as a default. I'm going to show you that working in a second. So any inbound calls on Surgery Connect through the integration, Surgery Connect will search your clinical database and will retrieve any patient details that match that inbound calling number. Those will then be displayed on the screen for the user whose phone is ringing with that call so that when they answer the call, they can then just click on the patient name within the uh, available list and it will open that patient's record in system one for you automatically. So for your reception team handling calls in the morning, it does make finding patient details a lot easier and also shortens the call handling time because they're not having to search system one manually. They will all have already have the patient details that match that patient's contact number on the screen there for them. As you can see here in the preferences, you can also change which monitor you're displaying your phone bar on. So if you wanted to move it to a different screen, you'll have a list of all the screens that are attached to your PC and you can move that phone bar onto any of those screens there. In the audio and video settings, uh, you can select the microphone and the camera that you'll be using for any calls via the uh, phone bar. You can do, or you will be able to do video calls once we release the phone bar um, and the integrated camera here, or if it picks up a camera on your PC, will be used for those video calls to make them two way video calls rather than just the image from the patient there. There's also the option to set a secondary ringer. So if you are using the soft phone and you're using a headset so that you don't have to have your headset on all day, um, you can set the ringer on your PC so that you can then hear the phone ringing, even if you're not wearing your headset at the moment. And then obviously you can answer the call through whichever device that you're currently using there. So what I'm gonna show you now is what happens on an inbound call using the phone bar. So when a patient rings in, um, obviously they will go through the call flow that you've got set up on Surgery Connect exactly the same as they do now. And when they reach the front of the queue, it's then going to ring through to one of your users within the practice that answers those inbound calls. So I'm going to simulate an inbound call by using my direct number. Now, as you can see, I'm using my soft phone. So the call is showing us ringing on my phone bar and I've got the answer icon here. Also, I've got the call information so I can see when this number last rang into the practice and which patient it's now found within system one that matches that inbound contact number. So that when I answer that call, I can then check it is indeed the correct patient. And then I can just click on the patient name within the little um, list there that comes up on the phone bar. And that will then open that patient record within system one automatically for you and set that as your active patient. So we can now see that the call's connected and I'm now speaking to Oliver Howard here and it's opened his clinical record for me. Um, it's now also linked that patient to this particular call. So it's swapped the number to a name. There is a little copy icon here. So if it's a, a number that's not in anybody's clinical record and you need to add it, you can just copy and then paste that into system one in the relevant field. And then the next time they ring, that will come up with the patient's details there for you. 
because I'm using the soft phone, I can actually control the call directly through the phone bar. So I have call control options here. So if I'm transferring this call through to someone else, I've got a transfer icon that immediately goes into your internal list where you can search through all of your users to transfer the calls through. And in the directory, you'll also have your groups. And if you hover over the number, it will show you the number that you can transfer to. So if you are using the desk phones, when you're transferring the call, you still have access to that directory so that you can see the number to type into the desk phone to actually transfer the call on. There's also options here to uh, put the call on hold, which will play them the usual hold music through Surgery Connect and to mute your microphone, um, as well as the keypad here. So if you do go through to a hospital, you can add in any extension numbers that you need to as part of the call there. And then to end the call, it's just the red phone on the end. Now that I've actually got a patient's details open, um, I can show you the active patient options. So if you're calling a patient, once you've opened the patient record within system one, uh, we have an active patient option on the phone bar, which is the little person here. And if I click on that, it will check which patient I've currently got active and confirm the patient's name and date of birth there. I've then got different communication methods available through the phone bar for that particular patient, and that will depend on which telephone numbers they actually have on their clinical record. So if they only have a landline number, it will only show you the call options because obviously you can't send text messages. Uh, there will also be the option to uh, send photo requests, which will send them a link. So you can also send that to an email address as well as just to a mobile number so that the patient can actually send in a photograph of the affected area and it will notify the user as well when that photograph is returned. There's also the option here to file individual correspondence directly to the patient's clinical record. So you've got a contact history for the patient here and you can select one or more options and then file that into the patient record. Obviously in the settings, you can set that quick file so it happens automatically there as well. Um, but a lot of practices at the moment are doing that individually for any particular calls that they need to have on the patient's clinical record there. So I've got a slide pack here which will go through all of that information as well. There's just one more slide that I want to show you here. So within um, the because you, you'll already have the integration downloaded, um, we'll need to upgrade you to the latest phone bar version. So we're looking at releasing this um, in early October, so in the next few weeks. If you would like to be one of the first to upgrade to the System 1 phone bar, um, if you log on to your support portal through Surgery Connect, you can then raise a ticket with the service desk to request the upgrade and that will be the same process um, when uh, after the beginning of October as well. So if you want to upgrade, just log a ticket on the support portal and then we'll be in touch to arrange a date through the support team for you. Within the training team, we've also got some half hour sessions where we can go through the use of the phone bar um, and we can also show you the setup process as well for the management team within the practice. So if you would like to book um, a training session around the new system one phone bar, either for yourselves or for your teams, please just email us at training at exxon.co.uk and then we can send you out the link so that you can book those sessions and we can run through that system one phone bar with all of the users for you as well. Once you've had it updated, um, there'll be a Surgery Connect logo on your desktop that will say phone bar. So you can then click on that and go through the initial setup, uh, just making sure that you've got your single sign on open and signed in and system one open. It will then link up your system one login to your Surgery Connect login and connect through the phone bar automatically for you whenever you log into system one each morning then. OK, so during this session, we've had a brief look at that phone bar for System 1 users. If you'd like a bit more information, please just email us at training and we'll set up a training session for you. Uh, we've looked at the inbound call pop up information. If there is more than one patient with that contact number, you'll have a list of the patient names so that when you answer the call, you can check which patient it is you're speaking to and then just click on the relevant patient name within that pop up to speed up those calls in the morning. And we've also looked at the active patient options which is really useful if you're speaking to patients and you've already got that open uh, within system one there. I've also shown you the quick file options through the settings and also how you can move that phone bar around the screen.